Okay, thank you. I don't know if you can read it. Maybe we have to yeah, turn Yeah, let, let us put off the light. So you can, we will be very awake. Okay, anyway, uh, I have a degree in theoretical physics and I worked for Accenture, a consultant firm for four years. After four years, I, I quit to start some startups and to become a seri serial uh, entrepreneur, where serial is uh, has the meaning of uh, the same meaning that in serial killer. I just couldn't stop. And uh, mainly in the, in the recent time, <laughs> it's like to be in a disco, and uh, in the recent time, I'm focusing on uh, uh, Bitcoin-related startups. Uh, I'm uh, slowly quitting of uh, every other kind of startups I made in these last two years. And I just work with uh, uh, Bitcoin-related startups. Uh, also, I work with, <laughs> work with, I work with Lawrence in Green Address and, uh, and uh, along other uh, Italian, uh, Swiss, uh, Panamanian uh, and startups. Uh, but, uh, uh, Two of my more recent experiences are, one, I'm the co-founder and the vice president of Assobit, uh, which is an advocacy group in Italy for uh, blockchain-related technologies. Uh, we listened at this morning uh, the importance to lobby, uh, to prevent regulation, regulators to, from, uh, from uh, crippling our innovation, and so to be active and vocal and, uh, and expert about regulation and politics. So we have this, uh, this organization uh, gathering uh, together uh, bank, uh, all, all the Italian uh, Bitcoin entrepreneurs, but also some bankers, politicians, lawyers, uh, fiscal lawyers, and so on. Uh, while there was this, uh, ex this experiment uh, to... Uh, I also organized the uh, Milan Bitcoin Meetups, uh, it was uh, in a Milan Bitcoin Meetup that I first met uh, Lilia and Pavel and, uh, and uh, maybe some other of, uh, of you guys. Uh, it was, uh, it, it's, uh, we started very, very slow, very small, and then uh, we found with like uh, 60 people uh, in one Meetups, when, when you were there in February was one of the, one of the greatest, maybe one of the biggest, uh, more crowded Meetups in the continental Europe, I, I, I would say. Because 60 people just for a Bitcoin uh, uh, meetup is, is very is very huge, and uh, then I started uh, with this uh, uh, blockchain lab. Uh, well, uh, before uh, before going on, just one uh, uh, one uh, proviso, one advice. Uh, of course, for my international experience, uh, I can now speak uh, an English with a perfect uh, Oxfordian accent. Uh, but uh, in this uh, presentation, just for you, to entertain you and to please you, I will fake uh, uh, this Italian accent, but uh, I will put some errors, in, some pronunciation errors, but just for you. So, getting back to uh, the blockchain lab, uh, it's uh, some kind of, uh, the, the argument is somehow related uh, to the one we were, uh, too much close, okay, to, to the one we were uh, discussing before in the panel. Uh, how can we have a research, uh, a scientific kind of research on Bitcoin technology? Uh, of course, Bitcoin is not a, a product. It's not a product that, that goes in the market in 2009 and now it's uh, spread uh, everywhere and, and we can use it. Uh, we just uh, say to our friend, let's use it and everything is okay. Bitcoin is, is a base, uh, high level, low level protocol. It's like uh, internet, it's not like Facebook. So we need a lot of research, we need uh, experiments, we, we, need, uh, we need studies, we need uh, to fail, we need to try things, and we need uh, to develop a real ecosystem around that. And that needs not just uh, uh, passion, not just uh, uh, attempts, but it also needs serious research. When can you get it? Uh, okay, you cannot get it in universities, uh, unless uh, until uh, the, the, the work of... Uh, of uh, distributed lab uh, and uh, distributed university and uh, Bital Academy is not accomplished. Uh, until the, that day, uh, we still cannot find Bitcoin expert in university. Uh, uh, first, universities are old. They are not, uh, they are not updated with the, the most uh, recent uh, traditional uh, uh, computer science uh, news. 
So uh, let's just forget they are updated with the Bitcoin revolution here. Uh, I think that uh, professors of any uh, of any course of uh, uh, of uh, computer science uh, would be less skilled on this technology than uh, the 80 percent of people inside this room now. Uh, also, it's very compartmentalized. Uh, you cannot study Bitcoin if you just know something about cryptography. You cannot you cannot study or understand Bitcoin if you just uh, are an expert about. Uh, distributed systems, uh, or if you j are just an expert about uh, uh, monetary theory. But if you're not uh, somehow skilled on one of these fields, you cannot understand Bitcoin. You could be a, a great cryptographer, but you have not a clue uh, w on what is money and how does it work, uh, or the opposite. Uh, so uh, you cannot go to university and shop for a Bitcoin expert uh, uh, inside a professor or group. Uh, Big companies, of course, big companies are big enough to have a uh, R&D department, so they they will have a Bitcoin-related R&D department. Uh, the problem is that they do not have that. They are uh, they are big, but they do not have a clue about what is happening to them. Uh, you see this nice picture of two dinosaurs uh, having this uh, nice conversation just before the meteor uh, hits the, the the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, most of big companies, banks, uh, insurance companies, uh, I would say also some kind of telecommunication companies, uh, they really do not know what's happening. Maybe we also heard something like that this morning. Okay, Bitcoin is not going to do anything very serious. Uh, maybe the blockchain technology, but uh, they think it's not there. They think it's not there yet. And they are right, it's not there yet, but they are not funding internal serious research about that with some exception. Uh, you cannot see you cannot see very well, but uh, down here there is something called Echelacanthus. It, it is a dinosaur, a fish dinosaur, and it's still alive. So some of them, uh, some of them understood uh, in time, and some of them, some of them is still alive after the meteor. Uh, so what what is left? We we are we are left with uh, with us with uh, Bitcoin startups. Bitcoin startups, can you hear me? Bitcoin startup are uh, are not uh, old. They are not compartmentalized. They are not uh, they are not uh, dinosaurs. Not uh, understanding what's going on, but they are small. They are small. They cannot have an internal uh, research department. Of course, uh, they cannot spend money on research too much. They uh, they are busy to stay alive. I don't know how many of you uh, are inside the Bitcoin related startups or or, or no somebody inside the Bitcoin startups. Raise your hands. Oh, so, so few? Okay. Uh, uh, okay, uh, of these five people, how many of you know some not exchange startup actually making money? Okay, that's what I thought. Okay, okay, one, one. Uh, anyway, it's like uh, uh, one-fifth of... Uh, <laughs> So uh, it's it's difficult for them because uh, still because Bitcoin is not a, a, fi a, a final product. Bitcoin is still a protocol who, 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 in need, needing a development, an ecosystem development. So uh, you cannot uh, think to have uh, startups uh, funding their own research uh, and development uh, department. So uh, we also have the Bitcoin rock stars, the the, the very. Uh, not small, but now very rich, maybe because an adopter, opt, adopter, maybe because they are a uh, well-paid consultant uh, that uh, actually are, uh, they, they actually know what they are talking about and uh, has the money uh, or the structure to, to, to make uh, really uh, skilled consultancy, but they are few, maybe some core developer, and they are very, uh, it's very difficult to have them. Uh, they are still expensive, they are commodity. You cannot go around and just buy one of the few, 10, maybe 11, 12 real Bitcoin experts in the market. Uh, MIT tried and uh, all it will get away was Gavin up. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. Uh, just an in, in, uh, inside joke. Uh, so, so uh, blockchain lab, how does, how does Oh, 
does this work? How does blockchain lab work? Is it better or what? How does blockchain lab work? Uh, they, uh, okay, of course, I'm talking about Bitcoin all the time. Now uh, you say that uh, this, uh, this project is called a blockchain lab. Uh, okay, that's an attempt to be polite and to not uh, scare too much, uh, you know, the, the, same, the same sentence that we always say. Bitcoin is dangerous, strange, but the blockchain of course, there is no Bitcoin technology without Bitcoin, which is the only actual uh, Bitcoin uh, blockchain network existing. And you cannot have uh, a blockchain without a uh, Bitcoin commodity. And there is no commodity out there can, which has the network effect and the power of Bitcoin. So, but to be polite, we call it blockchain lab, uh, like, uh, like the, the conference. It sounds more polite. And uh, so we have uh, these three actors. We have uh, universities. Uh, more students, more than university. I, I think about PhD students or, or, or master or just uh, uh, degree students. Uh, we have uh, dinosaurs. I like to think that we are just uh, we are just aiming at Celacanthus, but maybe uh, maybe we are we are wrong. And uh, we have uh, uh, the Bitcoin startups, the, the ants. So this work of that. This is the the logo of uh, Blockchain Lab. They give us money. Okay, not just uh, UBS uh, uh, 50 million of uh, Swiss franc kind of money, but uh, maybe uh, two magnitude orders less, but, uh, but uh, money. And uh, we provide startups, Bitcoin startups, with, uh, I would say, classical incubation process, but it's uh, a bit, a bit, uh, a bit more, uh, more than that. Also because in the Bitcoin world, uh, you see uh, information about what you're doing is not commodity cannot find it everywhere. So if you need an expert, you cannot find it just uh, going uh, around uh, in a general purpose uh, incubator. You need a Bitcoin specific incubator. You need to work uh, with uh, your elbow next to the elbow of the better Bitcoin expert you can find around. So, uh, so these uh, startups can, uh, that uh, we select can have a free space and uh, in this space they work together uh, along with uh, the best F F expert uh, they can find uh, around uh, in their geographic location and beyond that. And now I will exp explain why. Uh, then I also, uh, then we also select some work, some academic work, uh, and we also provide uh, money uh, to, to for scholarships and awards for academic uh, researches and results uh, about blockchain technology. What do the Celacanthus get? The dinosaurs, the smart dinosaurs, not the stupid ones, the smart dinosaurs get, uh, first they get uh, uh, information about venture capital. They really want to invest uh, now that Goldman Sachs has invested in, in Bitcoin uh, technologies ecosystem. Now that, uh, I don't know, JP Morgan is doing that, now that uh, everybody is doing that, they want to invest in a, a Bitcoin ecosystem. They just uh, don't have a clue of... Uh, how and, and where, because classical, usual, traditional uh, expert uh, uh, consultant that selects startup in the traditional VC world uh, are not expert in this specific and very vertical, still very exoteric kind of uh, knowledge. It will be ju just like the other technologies in five years, five year, but now it's, it's, it's not like that. So they know uh, what, uh, what they have to do to invest. And of course, the startups benefit uh, to be you know, on the radar screen of the Celacanthus. And uh, they also get uh, some uh, academic result that they could uh, uh, use and they, uh, as an actual uh, trust, uh, trusted information uh, from, uh, from a university and, uh, and PhD and master students. Uh, also, uh, you, do you remember the Bitcoin rock stars? Uh, our team is uh, in uh, close contact uh, with, with them, something you, you cannot uh, maybe uh, get uh, uh, hiring them because they are very expensive. You can get uh, uh, working with startup directly working on interesting project with them. They they just chat all the time. They are in in, uh, in close contact with uh, ma many core developers of Bitcoin. Uh, so uh, the incubation project uh, uh, consists of uh, uh, 21. Uh, uh, open 21 desk uh, inside the Copernico, which is the place uh, is uh, one of the. It's a co-working uh, slash office uh, 
based on innovation and technology, is one of the biggest uh, uh, place of this kind of all continental Europe. Uh, when it opened, uh, Lilia and Pavel were there, it was just the opening of uh, one of our meetup. It, it, it's, uh, it's there we keep, it's there we have our meetups, it's there we have uh, our lab, it's there we have a lot of other startups and we can also uh, provide uh, our, uh, our startup with services uh, from, from the others uh, without uh, going to, to, to search, to look for them in the market. So far we have a uh, Malta-based uh, green address, you, you already know Lawrence, we have Italian-based uh, coin capital, which you know, and uh, Geobit, uh, we have this new crypto club, uh, inter very interesting startup, and uh, we are open uh, uh, in the next month, we just started, in the next month we will have uh, up to 21 uh, single expert, uh, uh, the selection is uh, of course ours. Also, we, we will uh, fund some uh, international projects in which we will invite uh, interesting startups and interesting people or experts to stay maybe two weeks, one month with us uh, to accomplish a specific research, a specific project. We can afford uh, uh, travel and accommodation and all, and uh, we can get in touch with people who will not, that, that will not move uh, in, uh, in Milan permanently uh, to stay in our, uh, in our incubator. Uh, also, we uh, we will provide, uh, starting next month, uh, developer awards. Uh, it's not about uh, academic paper anymore. It's just a reward paid in Bitcoin to, uh, to developer, core dev or, or not core dev, maybe also independent, uh, not very uh, famous, uh, not very popular, popular dev, which uh, improve, uh, really improve, which does, which do, do something that really improves the Bitcoin ecosystem and the Bitcoin Bitcoin Core code, and uh, so uh, we are all uh, interested uh, in uh, hearing from uh, you uh, if you are interested uh, to participate uh, in something like that, and uh, for any kind of question, this is my contact and I'm not going anywhere, uh, maybe I will be drunk, but not, not so. <laughs> you will, that's no doubt. So, because actually, just a little bit of spoiler, we are already about to kick off the closing remarks, but one speaker, and I want you already to prepare all your strengths and energy so that we all survive all this stuff. And so far, all the questions that we have to Giacomo. Not really. Um, Readdress is Malta based, and uh, we also have. Uh, this is just the confirmed ones uh, we just started. We have, uh, we are in touch with an Irish one. Uh, with, uh, we, are in, we are in touch with uh, a London-based one and a Swiss-based one. So, uh, absolutely not. But uh, our research team is uh, is geographically localized. So we just we just not meet online. Maybe in ten years from now. But now for for to, for for this kind of stuff, we need to to stay actually together in the same physical space. So, uh, of course, we started uh, with that. Uh, it also depends uh, uh, on the number of, uh, of uh, smart dinosaurs, because uh, if they are, uh, I'm looking for four, uh, one bank, uh, one uh, insurance company, one uh, payment system, system company, and uh, one uh, uh, consultancy firm. I have uh, one which already paid and so we started, and uh, I, I have, uh, I'm, I'm working on the other three. So, it depends. <laughs> and uh, Ernest and Jan, they approached us. Um, I can forward them to you. Thank and you. I will evaluate there. <laughs> and uh, banks. Um, yes, I mean banks. Uh, Let's do this. Let's do this. Because uh, no, yeah, they can copy as you know. There are the so many lab. banks uh, at the moment. Uh, no, I know, I know. We have, a, the train. We, we have no problem for getting interest about this. Uh, I can just. Yeah. Okay, anybody else? All right. Thank you so much, Giacomo. That was Thank really you. one of the funniest presentations. Probably the funniest. So